Welcome to the Online Graduate Research Forum for Spring 2014. My name is Dolores Hobbs, your presenter. I am a graduate student in the Masters of Science in Interdisciplinary Studies program in the Department of Occupational, Workforce, and Leadership Studies at Texas State University. The title of my research study is Living Life After the Move. 40 million people aged 65 and over account for 13% of the total population in the United States. Among the 40 million, many will make the decision to change their current living arrangements and move to a nursing home. Does this mean they will stop living after the move? Current research states that most elderly adults move to nursing homes and experience isolation, depression, and do not find life satisfaction in their new surroundings. I was excited to research this further and determine whether satisfaction exists after moving and living in a nursing home. This study will provide the answer to this question and share the overall voice of the elderly about satisfaction and quality of life after the move. Understanding the perspectives of elderly adults after living in a nursing home may help their family members understand them better and accept that moving to a nursing home may not be so horrific. Interviewing those who move to nursing homes could gain information to pass on to adults facing such a transition in the near future. The research design used was interview research design. Data collection was voice recording and transcription. The method was common themes and the study population consisted of adults 70 plus in age and of sound mind living in various nursing homes located in Texas. The participants were excited to be involved in the interview process and had lived in nursing homes from one to six years. Nine out of ten attended high school and five attended college. Nine had been married and had children. One would never marry but had one child. Five moved to a nursing home due to illness and five moved due to old age. Prior to the interviews, the researcher had made many assumptions about nursing homes, including that nursing homes were not environmentally safe or friendly and were bad places to live. The data collected from interviewing elders proved to discredit these assumptions. The responses to open-ended questions provided a variety of positive information about moving, living in a nursing home, their support from family and friends, and some childhood stories. Interviewing the participants proved to be a rewarding, positive experience. The resident and staff had positive, lively attitudes. Their actions showed they cared about each other and enjoyed living in the home. Based on their responses, they all recognized that their age was a major factor in moving to a home. Interesting enough, the participants' opinions about living in a nursing home before actually moving were extremely negative. They shared that they hated nursing homes and they smelled bad. Others shared, everybody has heard the nightmares, and in my parents' generation, a lot of people died because they did not have anything to do. They just stayed parked in a wheelchair. Despite the negative preconceived notions, they shared many positive comments which negated previous ones. They stated that the homes today are so different from the past. The participants did not express any negative thoughts about the loss of material possessions like a car or even having a set schedule for meals. Many said they enjoyed their new home and never experienced isolation. Their comments included, I have friends here and we are all family. The people here are so nice and friendly. They regained their independence by personalizing their rooms with their own furniture, family pictures, and outdoor bird feeders. One gentleman had a police department emblem on his door, while another had a coffee pot and a microwave. The interviews revealed positive perspectives on family and friend relationships. All of the participants except one have family visits on a regular basis. Some of their family relationships have changed, but many have not. Their relationships with family have decreased due to relocation and death, but many shared that they had made new friends in the nursing home. The interesting finding was when the family did not visit, the elderly adults understood or justified the reasons why. The participants shared those reasons. My children come to visit sometimes. I wish they could come see me more. They work hard and live in different places, so I understand they have their lives. My son does not come and visit, but he is very, very busy. My oldest son calls, but does not visit. He has health issues. It's okay. They all have their own lives. Their expressions and moods did did change when speaking about their spouses. The mood was a bit somber, but changed quickly when they told stories about their family and their children. The study found that seven out of 10 participants are involved in activities on a daily basis. 
The activities are extremely important to their autonomy. The findings are in agreement with studies that define activities as a positive indicator of adaptation. It was clear that the participants set their own schedules and thrived on keeping busy. The participants revealed their satisfaction with living in a nursing home through their storytelling. They shared how their busy schedules are the best. The homes offer all kinds of activities including bingo, clubs, Bible study, and aerobics. One participant didn't want to change her schedule, so I interviewed her while she was working out. Let me share some of their comments. They all seem to be well informed about current events like A-Rod's drug use and America's Got Talent. They love their trips to Walmart. Many said, I have friends and the food is good. We stay so busy with our activities. Others voiced their opinion about how they love the gym. And they have a resident council and they listen to what we have to say. A move to a nursing home is a life-changing event. The participants voiced their thoughts, opinions, and perspective on life and showed that living in a nursing home can be a satisfying, positive experience. The data suggests that being involved in the initial decision making is a major contributor to the satisfaction. The participants showed that they are not dead and thrive to live their lives. They are living life the way it was envisioned. My study was limited due to the concern of confidentiality and the HIPAA law. I recommend further research by expanding the region and the number of participants and exploring different financial climates in order to widen the scope. Also, studying the similarities between having family support versus no family support after the move would support some beneficial findings. This study is extremely important to our generation because the elderly population is expected to grow to 72 million by the year 2030. The author has submitted a manuscript of this research study for peer review to the publication, The General Ontologist. On the YouTube page below, please indicate your anonymous preference for this study by clicking on one of the two icons, like or dislike. Also, please post your comments or questions in the YouTube comment section below. I will respond to your inquiries posted between April 2nd and 23rd through this webpage. Thank you.